Pastor Chris. Hallelujah. Glory, 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 glory. I didn't hear that. Let's take it again. Glory, 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 glory. Hallelujah. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are participating from. As you can see, I'm very excited, as always, when we have a global communion service with our man of God. I'd like to welcome you very specially to the February 2024 global communion service with our dear man of God, Reverend Chris Ayakilame, DSC, DSC, D. D. This is the year of redemption. And from January the 1st till now, it has been from one level of glory to another. I know that has been your experience. We've had such an amazing first month of the year with lots of beautiful testimonies. And yes, it went by so fast. Well, through the enlightenment that came to us from the teachings of our dear man of God, we have been turning in our vouchers and coupons for actual value. Have you been doing that? I'm sure you have lots of testimonies of the Lord's goodness all through the month of January. And you know what? You can share those with us on King's Chat on the timeline. And we have a hashtag that we would like you to use. It's hashtag cash my coupons. Did you get that? So let's flood the timeline and share with one another, be provoked as we share with one another our testimonies of how the word of God we put to work is showing up in our lives as a marked improvement in every area. There's so much for us to cash because we are heirs of the kingdom. Hallelujah. Glory to God. So we want to look, we want to read them. We want to celebrate with you. So I'm going to take that again. And if you can be put on, it's, it's there on the screen. Look at it. Hash cash my coupons. So Let's start sending them in right away, actually. Glory to God. So this is February, and I would like to appreciate my father, my pastor, my life coach, for the honor and the privilege to open this very special program today. Thank you so much, Pastor Sir, for the honor. I appreciate it. Truly, God's love for us is beyond what our mind can fathom. He loves us even more than we can ever love ourselves. He cares about us much more than we could ever care about ourselves. And his boundless liquid love flows through us. And this global communion service is a great opportunity to remember and meditate on his extravagant love. It's truly dateless. And we're so grateful. Glory, glory, glory to God. Well, 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 well. I'm sure you had a beautiful service this morning. And it is that time of the year when we honor the Lord with our first fruits. All across the Love World Nation today in all our churches, we celebrated our first fruit service. Were you there? Did you, have you given your first fruit? Were you excited to do it? It's a celebration as we honor the Lord, loving him, demonstrating our trust in him. You know, it takes faith to give your first fruit. But you know, that faith is already in our hearts. And once we... Once we do it, you know, it's like the vats just burst open. Glory. The first fruit given is holy. Everything else is holy. And we are ready for the most amazing 2024. Everything about us. You know, we've been separated. We've been sanctified. We've been set apart. Glory to God. And as we give our offering, it's like a declaration of all of that. And many, many more. And today, this evening... Tonight, or rather here in this uh, beautiful global communion service, our man of God is going to unleash words. You receive them in the morning as your pastor released words. But this evening, our man of God, our prophet is going to pray for us. He's going to make those declarations. So be prepared to receive them. And you know one thing, like I know, will never be the same. So we're looking forward to that beautiful segment. Praise the Lord. And no, don't forget that we started today, but we will continue. We are also going to have, um, in some most churches, it was today, and some will be um, next Sunday. But throughout the month of February, actually, at every service, you have the opportunity to bring your first fruit offering. So make sure that you do that. And I can tell you, there are many blessings 
that await us as we do. And today in this service, there are so many as well. Throughout the month of February, we will be celebrating. And we're glad about that. Now, today we are with Pastor. Tomorrow we're going to be with Pastor. Tuesday we'll be with Pastor. Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. What a way to start February. Every single day of this first week. Where is the man go, Pastor Chris? Tomorrow starts your Love World specials. Don't miss it for anything. Guess what? It's been, I think the last time we had five days with Pastor was in 2022. So we're in 2024, the very first Real Love All Specials is five days. Glory to God. I hope you have your data. I hope you have subscribed even for Love All Plus, Love All Can, Love All Sat, so that you don't miss even one second. You can't afford to because there's so much that will be unleashed during these programs. You know, one thing Real Love All Specials does for us, it gives us the advantage. It puts us ahead. Pastor gives us a sneak peek into what is going on in the realm of the spirit and how it's affecting our lives here on earth. You don't get it anywhere else, hot and sizzling, straight from, from, from heaven. So make sure that you are a part of it, okay? And then still in the month of February, we have Praise Night. Wow. Are you looking forward to it? I know what our man of God told us. He said this, this time around, when we have Praise Night with pastor, we will also prepare in our churches. So it's not just about being at home and just participating at home in our churches, we're going to be there. So as we are, um, our man of God comes to us with the, the love of singers, we'll also be in our churches praising and worshiping him as well. How awesome is that? This is the month of February and it is loaded, I tell you. So for today, which is the first meeting with pastor in the month of February, what should you do? Well, there's something you are going to have to pay. And it's a, an easy one. Just simply pay rapt attention. Avoid all the distractions that you can. Focus fully on everything that's going to take place today. Participate actively. Listen, when we worship, worship. When we pray, pray. When the man of God is sharing the word or there's any, look into the word of God. Take it into your spirit. Pray in other tongues to make sure that you seal it in. And boy, you are more than ready for an amazing month of February. Instructions will come to you from the Holy Spirit as you're listening. As you hear the word of God, the Holy Spirit is, is bringing you ideas, showing you pictures, so that every day of the month of February and beyond will be one from one level of glory to another. This is the February 2024 Global Communion Service with our man of God, Pastor Chris. And I thank you so much for tuning in to be a part of it. I can assure you, you will not be the same by the time we're through. So would you kindly do something for me? We're going to take the Love World Anthem wherever you are, so long as you're not sitting in a car or driving, kindly rise and let us be blessed as we take that together. God bless you.
One of the best things that can happen to a people is having accurate insight into God's will for them and understanding the time. This is what we enjoy as God unveils His will to us every year through our dear man of God, Reverend Dr. Chris Oyakilome, DSC, DSC Didi. Again, God graciously revealed to us through our prophet that 2024 is the year. The time has come for a change because this year, is the year of redemption. I am James Cordwell. And I am Kim Grace Masungo. Well, together we bring you a special report on the impact of programs already held as we keep you up to date with up and coming programs. So stay connected. Firstly, all churches kicked off with a special prayer and fasting program at different levels. These aim to stir the spirits of the brethren, properly align their hearts and get the church rightly positioned for greater exploits with God's word that had come forth from our man of God, Pastor Chris. Hope you've been participating in these programs. And driven by the urgency to redeem the people, Christ Embassy Lagos Zone 5 invaded the city of Lagos with a special program tagged a day of blessings with a highly esteemed Pastor Diola Phillips, Zono Director of Christ Embassy Lagos Zone 5, recording a massive attendance 
and amazing testimonies. Now, as part of the efforts to redeem our will from hunger, well, the Inner City Mission for Children launched a campaign tagged the 5 Billion Meals Campaign. This campaign is poised to provide 5 billion meals to indigent children and their families across the globe. Join the bandwagon of those putting smiles on the faces of needy children and families today. Visit the innercitymission.ngo today for more information. The One Billion Solutions campaign launched by the Pastor Chris Digital Library aims to provide one billion solutions from the timely messages of our dear man of God, Pastor Chris Oyakilome, to one billion problems faced by myriads of people all around the globe. Kindly visit the Pastor Chris Digital Library at www.pcdl.co. Regional Cell Leaders Conference with the Acting Director of Love Will Cell Ministry, the highly esteemed Pastor Joy Amekanan, was organized for all zones in the Lagos region. 24 hour Healing School online prayer conference was held from Friday the 2nd to Saturday the 3rd of February, and tremendous power was made available ahead of the March Healing Streams live healing services with the man of God, Pastor Chris. Now, World Evangelism Mobilization, well, Storm South Africa, with a special Souls Harvesters Congress, with a highly esteemed Reverend Tom Mekinan. What an impactful program it was. A fresh fire for soul winning has been ignited in South Africa. Which region is next? As inspired by the Holy Ghost, Love World CEO and Zono Director of Christ Embassy Lagos Virtual Zone, the highly esteemed Pastor Yemisi Kudanebu called for an extraordinary praise and miracle service. What a rapturous experience it was as the saints praised and worshipped God in the beauty of His holiness. Profound miracles unfolded. Praise be to the Almighty God. Hallelujah. Diverse regional campus ministry programs across the newly created campus ministry regions. Christ the Embassy Benin, Zone 1, Night of Intercession and Agreement with the esteemed Pastor Moses Ola Yemi and Love World Television and Radio Ministries viewers and listeners conference and others, right? But impact has already been made in the first three weeks of the year, 2024. But we've got news for you. Get super excited about the lineup of programs in the remaining part of the quarter. Beginning tomorrow, a fresh season of your Love World specials with our dear man of God will take the global airwaves for the next five days. It's your Love World special season nine, phase one, from Monday, February the 5th to Friday, February the 9th. Don't miss it. Yet another extraordinary program coming up in February is the Reach Out World Extravaganza with Pastor Chris from February the 26th to February 28th. Partners and intending partners with the Rhapsody of Realities will be imparted with fresh grace for the reckless, extravagant and reckless deployment of resources to spread the gospel around the world through the massive distribution of Rhapsody of Realities. And not to be missed is the 10th edition of the Healing Streams Live Healing Services with Pastor Chris, slated for Friday, March the 15th, all the way through to Sunday, March the 17th. It's going to be 10 times bigger in every way as we prepare for the epochal global healing crusade. So register now and register others at www.healingstreams.tv forward slash LHS. Spread the news across the globe. Crowning the month of March and the first quarter of 2024 will be the revolutionary 17th edition of the Global Day of Prayer with Pastor Chris Slater for Friday, March 29th through to Saturday, March 30th. It will be a time to extricate the nations from detrimental treaties through fervent prayers. Join our man of God in praying for the world. Don't miss it. Well, what an amazing first quarter of the year of redemption we are already having as we look forward to greater exploits. Now here are some important things we must do to really ensure we are extricated from anything detrimental in this our year of redemption subscribe to the pastor chris digital library if you haven't done so yet to gain access to numerous messages by the man of god that will proffer solutions to all challenges and cater to all your needs in every area of your life download the pcdl app at level app store or log on to 
ecdl.co. Subscribe to the Love World News TV channel on CFlix and also follow the Love World News super user on King's Chat to stay abreast with faith-inspiring news of happening across the Love World nation. Log on to www.healingstreams.tv to watch all inspiring testimonies of miracles which would definitely inspire your faith. The number one daily devotional, Rhapsody of Reality, is changing lives all around the world. Be sure not to miss an article. Also participate in the one-year or two-year Bible reading plan. This is sure to grow your appetite for the Word of God. Download the Live TV app and watch the Love World Networks for wholesome content and to be rightly informed about global events in order not to fall prey to misinformation. Uh -huh, and disinformation. Be an ardent user of all our ministry platforms and products. This is the way to hold on to your faith and stand your ground as we fight the good fight of faith. I am James Cordwell. And I am Kim Grace Masungo. Maintain your confession as we gloriously await the words of the month from our man of God, Pastor Chris. This is the 2024 February Global Communion Service with our man of God, Pastor Chris Ayakilome, in the year of redemption. Bye, Bye for, for now. now. Praise the Lord. Glory to God. Wow. I'd like to express my profound gratitude to my mentor, my life coach, uh, for this opportunity to lead the body of Christ in this session of prayer. Pastor, thank you so very much, sir. And you know, the Global Communion Service is a prayer and fasting program. So we're going to be having a series of prayer sessions today. Get ready to receive answers because when we pray, God answers us. Praise God. I'd like to kindly ask that you rise to your feet wherever you are and let us pray. Thank you very much. And so firstly, we're going to be praying a prayer of thanksgiving for the month of January. You know, as we apply the teachings of the word of God given to us for the year 2024 by our dear man of God, all through the month of January, we recorded amazing victories as individuals, as a ministry. And you know, 2 Corinthians chapter 2, verse 14 tells us that thanks be unto God, who always causes us to triumph in Christ and makes manifest the savour of his knowledge by us in every place. So for the next few minutes, we're going to thank the Lord profusely in other tongues for his love, his kindness towards us, his grace. And glory that you enjoyed all through the period. Thank him for the increased knowledge of the word that puts you over the systems of this world. And caused you to enjoy the goodness of the Lord all through the month of January. Thank the Lord for enabling you to participate in kingdom expansion through effective prayers, evangelical activities, through partnership and other soul winning endeavors. So go ahead now, lift your hands where you are. And just begin to pray in the spirit, thanking God for the glorious month of January and all the accomplishments. Brande nege boska hai legi bonto rabada da bazim fo lagi de majin to rabaka sande le boya le monta le bonte le bonte le bonta la baga de majin to rabahaska Asas kila mandora ramante ya kilo bosta farakis te sera le giro bonto scala mantera le gobozo vranta la braga minto la brahas keza varande sha le bondo raconto la braki tolo brozo vronte la magicondo robosaya magila bracosa fralin core dena histovai le gesto fariga histovai re gesto fariga dostovaya machila bongro zalinto rastene mandai mandora to colo bonte la gisto fradezo Mantora Bahaska, Maliko Sipra Mantela, Christofan de Legestaya, Colantora Stola Mantela, Christovara Montos Kalija, Le Jora Bon Christo Fralin Dorante, Calibazon Vera Nishta Parastena, Legozo Vronte, La Bronguina Hasta, La Cendo Robodos Calamanto Vraskele Bon Vristo Hai, Le Grozi Vralico Baramajiko Rabasanta Labradoska, Le Pacoro Zapracatola Maziva Kileboja Hasta, La Cindo Robo. 
Thank you, Lord, for your grace. Thank you for your love. Thank you for several opportunities to make impact for the kingdom of God in the month of January. The opportunity to participate in sowing and evangelical activities. Your boundless love, your boundless grace demonstrated toward us all through the month of January. The victories we recorded. The victories Thanks be unto you who always causes us to triumph. Hallelujah. We have the absolute victory at every count. Oh, thank you for the increase hallelujah in the knowledge of the word that we enjoyed all through the month of january your beauty manifested in our lives thank you for the more that's about to happen in this month of february Haradeja, 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 Haradoza Malamonta Sa, Malikosa Valabaya, Libaco Salamanda, the banks of our hearts overflow with praise and thanksgiving to you, O God. Le Braco Zamante, Le Brahashta, and our hearts indict a good matter. Linto Zebrante, Cavilo Hoste Sa, Le Condra Histe Fralamandaria Zahita La Coste Haya. Oh, Halikova Sanda Hila. Hallelujah. We are still praying. And finally, in this prayer segment, we're going to be praying, glory to God, about our expectations for this service. We're going to be praying about our expectations for the service, preparing our hearts and our minds to receive all that the Holy Spirit plans to deliver to us today. You know, in Proverbs 23 verse 18, the Bible says, For surely there is an end, and your expectations shall not be cut off. And in Ephesians 3 verse 20, he tells us now unto him that is able to do exceeding abundantly above all that we ask or think according to the power that worketh in us. For the next few minutes, go ahead and pray fervently in other tongue tongues, affirming glory to God that you will receive all that has been preordained for you today by the Holy Spirit. Pray about your concerns, your goals, and your targets for this month of February. And you will receive today that one word from the Lord that will cause you to function in his perfect will for your life. Glory to God. Go ahead and pray. La Koba Satamante Rahashta Lagabosa. Lego Zon Torabani Kalibahase. Jelebrondo Sofra Kitalamande Rahaska. La Manto Rabadaske Lebahashta. Manto la Brakilemante Zalingo Jalanta. Ganto la Braganamaska Lebahaska. You are able to do infinitely more and beyond all that we could ever ask, think, or imagine. Beyond our goals, beyond our targets. We receive that rema today. Lepa kosopra mandegai. Lepa kondo 
Robondesa, le jindo rasko pale makriva hiko lo brondo sko pralamanda, le prakondo le vrazinto, la jinde rako sontare maniska, le manisko ramanoska, ramanondosa, 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 zonte la krondos, inko la minto, le jiro bako sofraki nonde, elondo brakuma soprakatala, le chora bokonde la krimanto ongroduske ha, ele jioromon Paya, il giorno mon paia, il giorno mon pari condo giorno mon beza, il giorno mon boz in cora ando zuman cora hasta, il lon poco no monte rahasca, le chira bababasca, le chira bababasca, le chiro mondosa, le chira mandos ancora bahasta, le cobazi comante la hasta, le gere comontosa, il la mondea, il la monde, il la mondo robosa pra comando robosca, li pacora zatora. Makujera haska le chira bondos in clore manco la brahaya maleko zebra hasta la jere mondo sopra kataya machala broko si prakatala mandeira haska le john rusko pralamandeya Keza frontos kalahaste le mantora satamande galia zavia kora shanda hai oh manto frasale mande gihasta oh father we thank you we honor you lord we give you thanks Thank you for the glorious month of January. The victories you wrought through us, O oh God. Thank you for the many blessings, the opportunities to bless your name, the opportunities to expand the kingdom. And thank you for this service today. Our hearts and our minds are ready to receive the word. That Rema word, that one word that will change our lives forever. Thank you, precious Father. We're set on course for this month. Carlos Caparamandista, on course for the unthinkable, on course for the unimaginable, on course for the seemingly impossible. And at the end of the month, we'll gather together again in March, and it will be a celebration of victories, testimonies abundant. Thank you, precious Father. We'll give you praise. We're all set for your spirit tonight. We'll give you praise in Jesus' mighty and blessed name. Amen. So sit back and enjoy the rest of the communion service. God bless you. We don't belong in the kingdom of darkness. We belong in the kingdom of God's dear son. In whom we have redemption. And this is the record that God has given us eternal life. And we're living this life in the now of our lives. This year, 2024, get ready for an extraordinary avalanche of divine revelation of the word at your level special season nine phase one with pastor chris don't miss your level specials and this year particularly we're going to be releasing and disseminating divine secrets this is one divine appointment you can't afford to miss showing live on all love world networks alpha tv live tv mobile app cflix app and various social media platforms it's fresh and exciting. Introducing the Pastor Chris Digital Library 1 Billion Solutions Campaign. This is a campaign to help 1 billion people all over the world have access to unlimited solutions in God's Word in the language of their heart in an accountable way through subscription to the Pastor Chris Digital Library starting with you. So, we're spreading solutions and smiles everywhere through this campaign. On the app, we have access to all of pastor's teachings, categorized in such a way that we can have easy access to different solutions. Health solutions, finance solutions, relationship solutions, promotion solutions are all available including confessions on different areas of life. Join us to spread solutions and smiles everywhere to 1 billion people in 7 ways. Number 1. Subscribe to the Pastor Chris Digital Library and listen to a message every day. Number 2. Purchase messages to add to your personal library. Number three, give the gift of subscriptions to everyone, everywhere. Number four, sponsor translations of PCDL messages. Number five, organize PCDL solutions outreaches everywhere. Number six, enlist as a PCDL solution specialist. Number seven, testify. You can upload your testimonies directly on the Pastor Chris Digital Library app or share your testimony on King's Chat with hashtag PCDL it, or send us an email to testimony at pastorchrisdigitallibrary.org. For more information, 
Go to the Pastor Chris Digital Library today. Pastor Chris Digital Library, a place of solutions. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the extraordinary journey that will truly transform your life. Today, we have an incredible special book that is available in multiple languages. Wondering how to live the life of your dreams? Do you want to extricate yourself from limiting and detrimental situations or go from one level of glory to a higher level of glory? Well, recreating your world is exactly what you need. And in this year of redemption, what better time to recreate your world, extricate yourself from the old and redeem your world, but by engaging with the principles presented in this timeless treatise. Years a powerful excerpt from the book. Решите не тратить вся время. Не будьте бродяга по жизни. Будущее здесь и оно принадлежит вам. Kuo pau ke fokohoko hongahi misi. Kuo pau ke iai ai taloloto i hongutu. Mohahiva i helongutu. Your dreams must come true. You must have a testimony in your mouth and a song on your lips because God has done for you what you wanted him to do glory to god that will be your testimony this year so don't waste another moment get your copy of recreating your world today and if you already have one copy this is an opportunity to redeem others by getting copies for them you can get a copy for that and remember the book is available in multiple languages we are offering a special 10 percent discount throughout the month of February exclusively on www.loveartbook.org. This book is available in electronic and audio format. Call the numbers on your screen or visit our KingChat super user at Loveart Books for more information. Praise the Lord and welcome to this special segment in the February communion service. And first of all, I want to thank our man of God, our pastor, Reverend Dr. Christian Kilume, DSCDD, for this special opportunity to anchor this discussion, um, this segment. Pastor, thank you so much. I'm very grateful for the opportunity. And on set with me, I have the esteemed director of the Church Group International, esteemed Pastor Larry Alabi. Thank you so much, Alice MCO, for the opportunity to be here. Praise the Lord. And to my Left, I have esteemed Pastor Emika Eze, the director of the Love World Medical Center. Thank you, Ma. It's a privilege. Praise the Lord. I'm sure you like to know what we're discussing this morning, and it's quite this afternoon. Um, we're looking at New Year resolutions. <laughs> and, uh, you know, the statistics show that over 90% of people make New Year resolutions, and within the first few weeks of the year, they actually abandon them. You know, so we're going to be looking at how, because we surely you must have made some important targets or goals for the year, how not to fall prey and be part of that statistics as you focus your attention on the prophetic word for the year. So that at the end of the year, not just what the Lord told us specifically about the year, and even beyond what you planned, you can be singing the song of victory. So esteem Pastor Larry, I'm going to ask you the first question. Why do you think this happens to people? Well, thank you. Thank you so much, Alice and CEO. And I'm so grateful to our dear man of God for the opportunity to be on set and to also be able to discuss this very important uh, topic. You know, as, as I looked at even just today's Rhapsody of Realities, Pastor was like giving almost a point-by-point -point, um, guide into how to make improvements. Because making a New Year's resolution is all about improving an area of your life. And you need to know how to do that. The strategy sometimes to start is not the strategy to continue or to finish. So you've got to know how to begin and how to continue and how to finish. And where it begins from is where's the inspiration coming from? This, this New Year resolution, this change you want to make, where is the inspiration coming from? It's important that the inspiration is from God, from the word of God, and even by the spirit. There's a scripture that says it is the Lord working in you, both to will and to do of his good pleasure. So that's important. That's Philippians chapter 2 verse 13. And then 
There's something also about maintaining the right environment. You see, an environment that would help to sustain the inspiration you have received. In Galatians chapter 3, verse 3, Paul the Apostle, he admonished the Galatians. They had started some things that he taught them. And then they were veering away. And so when he was correcting them, he said something so striking. He said, having begun in the, he said, are you so foolish? Having begun in the spirit, are you now made perfect by the flesh? Your New Year's resolution, if it's a good one, originating from God, and doesn't mean that it has to be something that is maybe like pastoral. It could be something earlier on, we're even just discussing as, as simple as you want to, you want to adjust your weight. But well, that's a good thing. It finds its, 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 its um, origin somewhere in the Bible. And it's good for you because God wants you to maintain your body. Your body is the temple of the living God. So God has an interest in your body. So if it's from God, starting from God by the Spirit, you need to maintain it also by the Spirit. Don't make the decision at the start of the year. Like this, this year of redemption, you made some decisions at the start of the year in alignment to the message. And then now you're not attending the services you should attend in church. You're not attending your cell meetings. You're not attending other services. You're not reading your Rhapsody of Realities. Those are things that would help to sustain the inspiration and give you a guide-by-guide -guide step. And also make sure that you are always bigger than any challenge to your yeah. resolution. Because remember, every good step you want to take, there's an adversary whose job is to prevent you from advancing and would rather keep you either static or even going back. And so where you're going to have the strength to, and the wisdom to always be on top, you have to maintain the right environment. Talk to the right people. Pastor shared with us in the Rhapsody of Writers today, one of the scriptures in Psalms chapter number one. It says, blessed is the man that does not take the counsel of the ungodly, nor stand in the way of sinners, nor okay. sit in the seat of the scornful. So you've made your resolution. Who are you comparing or who are you receiving guidance from? If you... Bring it to the attention of those who give you ungodly counsel, friends who may not be aligned with your motives and your own vision, they're going to water it down. And then you find that halfway into the time you've abandoned, you may even have forgotten that you, you made it. But another thing is this, even if when you made the resolution at the start of this year, and by now you had forgotten, and you're now just remembering, just start again. Just begin from wherever you remember, and make progress. Praise Keep going. Be persistent okay. and you'll win. Thank you. Thank you so much. So that means that if you have uh, an idea or a thought that's inspired by the Spirit, and, and definitely is going to be good for God, good for God's people, and then all a decision, an idea that is good for you, don't abandon them at midway and be conscious of them no matter what. And really, like you said, the Rhapsody of Realities, Pastor did talk to us today, he said, set definite goals okay so you want to lose weight how much weight you want to begin to drink water maybe you've not been drinking water and pastor has told us about i mean things it might seem small but they're not small they're going to make a better you a more improved you it could be a part of your character or conduct you want to change all those are meant to make you better and become more effective so don't give up and then yes there could be challenges but don't give up on them now pastor Emeka, looking at the fact that the resolutions are like goals how do you how do you manage these goals to be sure that you really get uh, to have success and you can take each one of them praise the lord i want to say a very very big thank you to my man of god for the privilege of being on set and thank you esteemed ceo for having me here today one of the things i wrote down here is um Something that is in the book of Habakkuk, chapter 2. Um, write the vision. Make it plain on tables that he that readeth it might run. And that just explains to me, to a large extent, why a lot of people would actually even forget or not be diligent to pursue their goals step by step. Because it's important to write. If it wasn't important, God wouldn't have said it. And one of the things that shows that somebody is serious about something is that he has a written down action plan that can be revisited. And the difference between crawling and running is writing. If you wrote it down, then you can always come back and assess, where am I in this? And then once you write out the large plan, it can easily be managed by being broken down into smaller achievable parts. You know, long, long time ago, I first heard this from Esteem Pastor Joy. She said, do something every day about your vision. 
you know, someone who is taking goals daily is always going to do something bigger than somebody who has annual goals. Because you find out that broken down into smaller parts, they are achievable, and every achievement inspires you to another success. So it, it's just from glory to glory. And then other things that can um, help is personal discipline. There's something um, about the definition of discipline. It talks about carefulness, determination, and persistence. These are three qualities. You know, one thing I saw a lot from the healing school, people who got miracles, there's something they constantly say, I made up my mind. And I see it everywhere. Once people make up their mind, you know, pastors say we should read the power of the mind. It's really a powerful tool. Once people make up their mind, you know, especially in alignment with God's plan and purpose, there is nothing that is strong enough to stop us. So making that decision to be careful, and, and carefulness is not in the sense of being anxious, but being diligent, attention to detail, you know, then determination, meaning no matter what you see, you've already made up your mind that in spite of opposition, you will push through. So you have a strategy that already incorporates the action plan of your opposition, whether it's the devil, whether it's circumstances, whether it's the weather, you already have a plan to overcome those things. And then, of course, persistence means no giving up along the way. You, no matter what happens, you still continue. So once these three things are in position, it's unlikely that anything is going to stop you this year. So it's important to have it in, in your front, a written down plan that you can revisit. It will cause you to run. Thank you so much. Master. Praise the Lord. Thank you so much. So, you know, on the 31st, a man of God asked us, said, how many souls do you want to win this year? We should pray about them. And we all prayed. Okay, so maybe you said a thousand because you are a cell leader. And now we have a project to um, 1,000 for every cell. But then maybe you're currently 20 or even 10, not even up to the specific number that a cell should be. What should you break it down? into you know measurable and then you measure yourself you break it down so that's what we're saying write it down review it um break down the large ones because like pastor emeka said if you just look at the year the year is made up of months the months are made up of weeks and the weeks are made up of days and the days are made up of hours and so that means you've got to break down this other plan break down those plans and break down these goals in such a way that you can actually begin to win right away. And then one of the things you should do to keep your mind on it is celebrate every win. Glory to God. The little wins, the big wins, celebrate because every one of those leads you closer to the goal. So for example, you want to, maybe say, I want to read the old Bible this year. Praise God, in the Rhapsody of Realities, you have the two-year reading plan, you have the one-year reading plan. So every day, it's already broken down, and you can learn. So you can actually pace yourself. If you miss the day or two, make sure you go back to it. So that is the diligence. So that means if, we, if you want to really, you can record, you know, excellence and done in everything if you keep attention to this. And then, of course, be specific. Don't just say, I want to win souls. Pastor asked us, how many souls do you want to win? So how many? How many? Have you answered that question? So just in case you haven't yet answered that question, how many souls are you winning this year? So there's got to be specificity and, of course, planning. Because uh, when you plan at something, when you plan well, you plan rightly, the, there's greater tendency for you to actually get it done. And, of course, be accountable. That's one of the reasons why people don't, not, you may not have enough discipline as yet to be accountable to yourself. But if you're accountable to someone, or maybe you have uh, maybe your cell leader, your pastor, your boss, your friend, it could be your spouse, somebody else that knows that there's something. Because there are some things you may say, no, I can't tell anybody else. It's only God beautiful. Just be ready that when the Spirit prompts you, you will respond. You know, but the ones that you can share with others, you may want to share with your spouse, your friend. And that way they can actually hold you accountable. And it's one of the things that actually help accomplishment of goals or resolution. For example, you want to lose weight and then you need to keep aside something. Maybe don't eat at some particular point. And then you have someone who's nudging you. Why are you eating at this time? Sometimes it can be quite irritating, you know, but they will have a role to play in helping you to, you know. And of course, another thing to do is prioritize your goals. 
Some would definitely have greater priority over the others. You want to pray. Maybe you've been praying for an hour. Now you want to pray for two hours. You want to pray for three hours. Glory to God. Okay, must you, if you can't pray it all at once, can you ensure that during the, re, you know, the span of the day you pray, whatever you do, have a plan, have, have a goal, have a plan, set the target, break them down, and you will be on your way. And very importantly, Pastor mentioned something very, very important in the Rough Studio of Realities today. So maybe I, I won't, I'm sure you will get it. Just two more points. Esteem Pastor Larry and then Pastor Mick. Praise the Lord. You know, you said something about celebrating the wins. You'll be amazed that God loves it when we begin to make progress in the direction that we are determined to do. In, in Zechariah chapter number 4 and verse 6 to verse 10, verse 6 is where it says, uh, not by might, not by power. So we all know that very well. But if you get to verse 10, there's something beautiful in verse 10. If we look at it from the Living Bible translation, that it's been so instructive to me. It says, do not despise this small beginning. All right, that's in the KJV. But uh, go, go to the, to the uh, Living Bible translation of the scripture. Let me just read it. It says, do not despise this small beginning. For the eyes of the Lord rejoice to see the work begin. So you, you just take that step. Take that step towards that goal. And you'll be amazed that grace will be available for you to continue until and unless you start. The journey has not begun. So this is very important. And then from that Rhapsody of Realities, maybe I should just read the second to the last paragraph because <laughs> Pastor just dealt with this so powerfully. You've got, this is one of the articles you should save and, and also refer to again and again. In the second to the last paragraph, Pastor said, you should already have clear-cut goals for the year. Stay focused on your goals. Every now and then pray in the Holy Ghost <laughs> yeah. about your goals. Mm -hmm. This is so important because it will guarantee, it's a guarantee, it will guarantee your progress in achieving your goals. So that's so crucial. Set clear cut goals. Make sure you stay in the environment of the spirit. Don't try to do anything outside of the spirit. It won't work. Our Lord Jesus said, the flesh profits nothing. It is the spirit that quickened. So whatever it is, make sure it is inside the environment of the spirit. Receive guidance from the spirit. Speak in tongues and let your supply of inspiration be from the spirit. The Lord. No matter how small or how large, you need the Holy Spirit. Otherwise, it's futile. Praise the Lord. Thank you very much. Final words, Pastor Mika. Thank you so much, Ma. In Proverbs 16, verse 3, the Bible says, commit to the Lord your thoughts and your plans shall be established. Glory to God. See, like esteemed Pastor Larry said, without the Spirit, without the inspiration of the Holy Spirit, you know, some people have excitement, human excitement, head excitement, enthusiasm is not the same thing as the inspiration of the Holy Ghost. And the inspiration of the Holy Ghost will never wear out. It's from glory to glory. But excitement, enthusiasm will wear out. You know, the Bible says that men, even the young men will faint. But they that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. Hallelujah. So it is the strength of God that is exchanged for our strength and will come out glorious. Thank you, Thank so, you so much. And finally, let me read pastors. That last paragraph of today's rapture is actually a prayer. So I'm going to read it from a man of God to you. This year, you're going to make progress and move forward in your life like never before. Amen. Irrespective of what's been happening around you or with you, the spirit of God will inspire and guide you to take the necessary actions that will cause you to have evident and unprecedented growth, increase in prosperity in Jesus' name. And we all say, Amen. God bless you. Thank you. <laughs>
and the visually impaired also in their many millions, I like to think I can reach them all, even as one man. And with my resources, I can do it. And you can also join me in being extravagant. Let's lavishly sponsor the gospel around the world. It's Reach Out World Extravaganza with Pastor Chris coming up on the 26th of February through to the 28th of February 2024. Reach Out World Extravaganza. You know, when, when you say something is extravagant, you are talking about limitless spending. You see it? It's called reckless use of resource. Jesus himself asked a question. He said, what shall it profit a man if he shall gain the whole world and lose his own soul? He said, yea, what shall a man give in exchange for his soul? He says, the whole world is not enough to give for a soul. So this is what the Reach Out World Extravaganza is about. We're reminding ourselves and we can go all out for souls and we can put in anything no amount is too much for winning souls when it comes to reaching out for salvation of men nothing is too much and you can see daily extravagantly in preparation of reach out world extravaganza number one sponsor sponsor copies of rhapsody for distribution sponsor language redemption missions sponsor the reach out world extravaganza program number two engage with prayers and redemption outreaches number three enlist your will to attend the program through daily publicity and number four distribute rhapsody of realities extravagantly Take these extravagant actions today. Remember, Reach Out World Extravaganza is from the 26th to the 28th of February. Don't miss it and God bless you. Praise the Lord, and welcome to this special Road to Reach Out World Extravaganza segment on today's communion service. And once again, I want to thank Pastor very much for the opportunity to have this quick time, um, I mean, this time with you to spur up our minds with, with respect to our preparation for this global epochal program taking place from February 26th to February 28th. The, the uh, uh, information that we just would give quite some information on how we should uh, be part of it and what we should do. And with me this morning, I have the highest team, Pastor Ifoma Chemeka. You're welcome. And Pastor Chike Umi on set. And we're going to be looking further into that. This is a year of redemption, Pastor Ifoma. And, you know, this is going to be the uh, Reach Our World Extravaganza is an, a time where we're launched into a higher and higher and deeper work with Rhapsody of Realities. And more than ever, with the word of the Lord concerning this year, the Rhapsody of Realities gives us a daily opportunity, not just to read to ourselves, not just to cash in the coupons for ourselves, but to actually carry our work daily. I wanted to tell our panelists, is Reach Our World Extravaganza, limitless spending, reckless use of funds. Why? Because the souls are worth it. What must we do? Thank you very much. Um, hi, esteemed, esteemed Pastor MSCR, beloved CEO and the Director of Rhapsody of Realities, and for the opportunity to be on set with you. Rhapsody of Realities is the Rhapsody of God. And in the year 2024, being the year of redemption, it is the necessary tool we have to save souls, to bring them into their inheritance because the word of God teaches them what they have been given. It is, a, it is a, the tool with which we can release nations and individuals from bondage and from debt and also ensure that they're extricated from detrimental associations. And what we need to do is one, we're conscious of the fact that we have it. And in this year, 2024, 
use it to the uttermost. Now, we have the privilege of having the Reach Out World Extravaganza to, it's like launch a major um, onslaught in ensuring that we do that. Pastor said to us, how much um, can we give for a soul? You know, to think that the Lord gave, our Heavenly Father gave everything when he gave the Lord Jesus. So what more? But with this, we have, there are five specific things that we can do with, uh, in preparing for Reach Out World Extravaganza that will ensure that all the gains of this program will be wrought and Rhapsody of Realities, saving souls this year as we redeem, as we, as re the redeemers we are, you know, will be accomplished. And those five, I can, I can name them. Number one, to register. And if you'll permit me, I can just talk about that very quickly. The first thing is Reach Out World Extravaganza is holding from the 26th to the 28th. It's like 22 days away. But in the next 22 days, the, the first thing we need to do is get onto www.reachoutworld.org and register. Um, you, you have a zonal link. If you are in any of our zones, use your zonal link. Ensure that you register. Registration does two things. One, we are accountable. It's not just to, you know, there is accountability, and that's one of the reasons why we register. And secondly, it's a demonstration of your commitment. Your commitment to want to be involved, your commitment to um, um, prepare because of all that you are going to receive, and then to help others also prepare. So registration is a necessary step. We are intentional about it, and that's the first step that we have to take. There are there are um, four, other four other steps, you know, which I know uh, we have uh, our Praise panelists. Well, Pastor Chiki, a very on. important step is sponsoring, you know, and there are three critical things we are sponsoring. We want to be, why should Tom be a part of it at all? Thank you so very much, Ma. And we're sponsoring lavishly. Yeah, lavishly. Thank you, Ma. I'd like to thank Pastor for the opportunity to be here too and for the blessing of Reach Out World Extravaganza. And just as the name says, and as Pastor has told us, extravaganza is about extravagance. It's about lavish spending, doing it lavishly. We've been doing Rhapsody of Realities, but in these 22 days, and for those three days, it's taking it to the next level of it has not been seen before. While we we're praying a moment ago, we said God is able to do exceeding abundantly above all that we could ask, think, or imagine. That is God's extravagance. He's extravagant in his answers, in his response to us. He gave us the same grace. We can also be that way toward him. We can be that way, you know, that same exceeding abundantly above what anyone can think that we will do toward him. And that's what we intend to do and we should do with the Rhapsody Realities, sponsoring without limits. What is lavish to me may not be lavish to Mr. B, may not be lavish to me. So at our different levels, we all have lavishness that we can express and if we all do it we will all do with rhapsody realities something that we have never done before our man of god actually mentioned that earlier in january yeah. that this year we have to do with rhapsody realities what we have never done before it's a word that must be carried out Hallelujah. that word has to be acted upon yeah. i have to look at what i did before now i can't repeat what i did before i have to take it to the next level and we have options and platforms for the various sponsorships i mean you can we're still on our one million group uh, uh, sponsorship campaign for, uh, for the group churches. And we have the redemption missions. One million Rhapsody or Realities redemption missions. And you can be a part of that with 3,000 SPs, 5,000 SPs, 10,000 SPs. You're pushing and getting Rhapsody or Realities into the hinterlands in different nations of the world. That's, that's part of it. The gospel is free, but it's not cheap. We're not paying for the message. It's not the message itself that requires the finances. It's a propagation, propagation of it. The vehicles to carry it around. Once you're moving from this place, you know, within the city, there's a cost to transport the message from street to street. When you're moving from that street to another state, it goes up. When you're crossing from a state or from a country to another country, it's escalated. When you're crossing intercontinentally, that's another level. And we are the vehicles that God rides on to make this happen. Hallelujah. So... 
Okay. Okay. <laughs> Thank you very much. Very, very important. You know, Rhapsody of Reality is available in all known languages and all known dialects. But that is really a beginning because he said this message of the kingdom, this gospel of the kingdom must be preached in all the nations of the world. So now we are taking the work with the languages to another level. And that is why we're having the one million Rhapsody and thank God, Rhapsody Redemption Missions. We're sponsoring at least a thousand copies. We're sending the missionaries to go. We're, you know, equipping them, covering the logistics, ensuring that even when they go, we can keep producing Rhapsody of Realities by having production centers set close to them. And finally, we are setting up churches in some of these places, of course, in collaboration. So that tells you now it's no longer, we're excited Rhapsody is available in all languages, but we're taking that work to the next level. And that is what one of those things that we are extravagantly sponsoring and doing so lavishly. And then I want to tell you this, during one of the reasons, you know, 22 days, let me tell you something you want to do. You want everybody you know and everybody around you, not just to be recipients or beneficiaries of Rhapsody of Reality Distribution, you want them to join us now in the work. And that's one of the reasons, one of the key objectives for this program this time around. So you want to engage with them. Reverend Tom Dorin, the IPPC taught us about partnership evangelism. This is the excellent time to make that happen. How many more people will become passionate about the work of the kingdom because of you? You plan now. Remember what we said earlier, you set the goals, set the number and start inviting them, get them to register, get them to be where you are. Then another important thing about the program is the quality of education and information you're going to be hearing. I mean, you remember what happened at the last Rich Award Extravaganza. Pastor challenged us. He told us to fill the internet with the truth. And we've been doing that. Many people you know, responding to that call. Now, during this Rich Award Extravaganza, you're going to learn. You think you know Rhapsody? <laughs> There's some things you probably do not know about Rhapsody. There's some things you probably do not know about the Rhapsody platforms and new products. At the program, you're going to learn about these new platforms, this new product, how to use them most effectively for your work of evangelism, your work of soul winning, your work of church growth. Yes, yeah, so it's going to be a time of training and then a time where new strategies of the spirit are going to be communicated. You don't want to miss it. And you don't want to attend alone. Mm. Glory to God. And that's why we should talk about the virtual centers as well. That means beyond where you're gathering physically, all around the world. I mean, the last trip I thought we had about 64 million virtual centers that were not just registered, but people were being engaged on them. This time we're having the thousands of call centers going to be available. But you can be a part of setting up places everywhere. Pastor Fumai, can you Thank please you tell so us much. that? So, so very about important. Then? You said that we should... Um, Prepare places for a participation, PPP, so that wherever you are, wherever people exist can be a place. Once there's a device, that's a place. And it's important that because of what we're going to be receiving, people need to be where they can hear pastor. And so physical centers are very, very important. Your home, your office, you know, your shop. Wherever you are, you can have people gather with you. And at the same time, your, your virtual centers. Now, the beautiful thing about getting the virtual center link is once you register, you get a virtual center link. And you can use, you can get many virtual center links so that you can categorize your links. Have, you, you know, so if you have, many of us have five, six email addresses and phone, call, phone numbers, use each one to get a different link. Then categorize your link. You can have a link for family. Have another link for work colleagues. Have a link for, you know, new prospects actually categorize the link so that during the program, you can engage and ensure that those that are in that um, um, the family, you know how to you know, relate with them, ensure they're hearing the word, there are things you've planned to do as a family, you can get them to do that there, your colleagues as well, those that you want to get to sponsor because we're using this program to get other people to be part of sponsoring Rhapsody of Realities. So you have those different links properly categorized and you have the different uh, um, and people in them, it makes engagement a lot easier. And you are in a place physically, but you are seeing to it that everybody else in other centers, they could be at home, are part of what's going on. Praise the Lord. And if you do all this in the next 22 days, you really, really be set with doing the impossible and the unexpected with Rhapsody of Realities. And God bless. Lord, we want them to pray. Oh, of course, you're, you're Prayer, registering, you're Rhapsody praying, you're sponsoring, you're preparing places, getting others to be a part of it. And I can tell you, this quarter will not end. You will have done the unexpected and the impossible Rhapsody of Realities. Thank you very much. God bless you.
Praise the Lord. We are still in the February Global Communion Service. Right now, we are going into a very, very special time of prayer. We are going to be praying for the nations. It's a prayer for nations of the world and their leaders. And to kick off this prayer segment, we are going all the way to USA Region 1 Zone 1. Let's make welcome esteemed Pastor Aloy. Welcome, sir. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Well, welcome everyone to this segment of prayer from all over the world in our 2024 February com Global Communion Service with our dear man of God, Pastor Chris. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. But firstly, I want to thank my dear man of God, Reverend Dr. Chris Oyakilome, DSC, DSC, DD, for this wonderful opportunity participating and handling this segment of prayer and leading your global audience in this communion service. Praise God. And I am Pastor Aloy Oke, the regional pastor for USA Region 1, Zone 1. And we are reaching you from Christ Embassy Lago in Maryland, USA. And this morning, in this segment, we're going to be praying for the proliferation of the gospel of Christ in all nations. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Now, in Matthew 24, verse 14, the Bible says, and our Lord says, And this gospel of the kingdom shall be preached in all the world for a witness unto all nations, and then shall the end come. And so you are joining me to pray fervently in tongues of the Spirit for the spread of the gospel in all nations and for the continual proliferation and expansion of Love World's vision through the following upcoming events with a man of God, Pastor Chris. And it is your Love World specials starting out from Monday, the 5th of February through Friday, the 9th of February, 2024. Also, we have the Healing Streams Live Healing Services coming up in, on Friday, the 15th of March to Sunday, the 17th of March, 2024. We also have the Reach Out World Extravaganza from Monday, the 26th to Wednesday, the 28th of February, and so on. And so we are going to declare that through these programs, salvation and miracles will be rough in every nation. And there will be a mighty move of the Spirit, resulting in extraordinary transformation in the lives of men globally. So wherever you are, take your prayer position and join us to pray. Go ahead and pray now. Manto Bahaya Lebron to Cora Masete, Kilebron to Malikuze, Sashalamante, Kila Bahaya Manto Cora Balisoto, Cobore de Begeli, Sempre de la Bahaya Manto Cora Baletese, Sese, Kilebron to Barahali, Frede Bongo Ribale Sato, Cobro de la Bahaya, Likunde Ribahali, Rebonongo Tela Baretula Sate la Baratoko Sate la Bahaya. Libra dondo roma sheki la baron to malikuse se li bahai Manto la bonde kira manto bredi la bokora de la sato la bahai Mante ke le pronto marabole se te kila paradiso shoto kabaye Makora male pura de le sato kobra di le barahande Prede bokora ma se te le pronto malikura deza Ligra bonto marabona kila brado sa she la bahai
bahande rede bom roli bare tola setele bori bahande libra do dari bale suka bare zakatora bahande ribana broto la bere di so shalamande rede bokora bale sotele bahande kila boto bande salabaya rabano toma preto la bare di so shalabande e raparo toma ni kura de sa sota mahande le prado la ni mahande rabo kora de shalamate hila e bakate la prado soto la bahande ramane godari mase tola predile botabale ramanto kori bale prado sele bahate riba bahaya rabano kora mashete kete ha 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 reba monto bare tuze shela bahande le prado mira mahande raboto kabale li so shala mahande Ramanto Korama Sekeli Broto Maha Rabonto Halibahaye Rede Bongo Ribale Sote Baba Babaye Rapashoto Kamali Poto Marigali Bahade Rebono Bredi Le Bongo Bangreli Bahade Rate Paroto Bredi La Parote Se Shete Kila Baha Reboron Temala Kairoti So Shoto Kobare Diseya Iga Rebono Bengreli Barade Boso Soto bari bale, le prade la barondo bredi la basoto komare, rede bongro di bare tu la bare shalaman le bongo ra bale haya, rede bongo bere di se 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 di brodi la ba, ra bara de soto bara bahila bande, igara bando, bengeri bale brodi la bahande, re bongo di bale brodi la basoto bale, man le brodi la bare. Shambrelia, libra do lo bare de baseha, lebro di barabo so kora ba lebra di basato ba leha, libra do bagabaro ba le uzahale, lebra do bagora ba haze ula ba hande, rabo no me kila bonto marabo lo bare heza, bare mo shokoria lebro di la ba hande, manto koria ba ba ye, re bare mo so kote li ba ba, mara ba 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 ye ha. Libra go brodi la bare tu la basata hai Libra de sota babaya Rabo ni maki le broto baliba Le brodo socho li bara bale druze bale Rabo ni bale grije bori bale hila mande Rabo ni bare bosande bori abale Le brogo bare de sota bale Rema lo grize bare di la bahande Le brodi la baya moro di la hande Robo le bale ki la barade la le brade balaga sota bala bale bradia rebo le bare de son de bradi le bahai rebo no bredi la boke la bahande rabo le gala bare de sota baba ye le grabo le bradi jara bale brodi kabaya bradi la bahande rebo ria boke rabale brodi sata la bale bradi ya bahande le braga bondo marani bola bredi gala bahande Lege boro bari de boko bredi la baba ye ha Lege bara ba le brodi la bare si chala bahande Rabagi le brodo mala brode zere bahande Le braga bondo bari de bo sate la baya Le graba baba le brodi la baba ye ha Ye baba lo grema shala bare boli mara bahande Le grebo la bredi 
Toshato Cabalea, Le Brani Gabalonzo, Tomali Brani Balamahande, E Barabagi Labrondo Malacarabazente, E Bacaribo Sapra di La Bahia, Yes, O Calibarabo Sapra di Baeha, Yo Ramali Prade Baradibo Sandaramaye, Igeriba Babaya, Redemo Shaki Labore Bareza, Mato Talabare Brodi La Bahande, Le Rebo la Predi la Barabo Santo la Bayeha, Rede Bobo Bradi la Barre Brodi la Bayate la Mahande, O Caroba le Predi la Baro Calibranda Santa Baya, Ye Baba Baba Vale, Racate se te que Brodi la Babaya, Le Graba le Brodi Malande Ribo Sake Ribaye, Ribaraba Chato Cabale Bradi la Bahande, Le Grabo Son Palibare Predi la Baha. Le grebo chocota balibaha, rede bom broli babaye brani labahande, de que bondo beregi se se que le vos aprendia, la mbreni labachate le va, mokora balabasate ki babaye, le grebo socota bale, ye braga liboso brani babaya, rede boso toca baya, reboso toco baribaye, reborobo sacate la bare. Libra ba 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 ba. Oh, rolo bo sa ya ba. Rolo bo sa ta ba la ba la. Libra na ba 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 ba. Re bro di na ba 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 ya na bo sa ta na ba ba ba. Le bro di ya bando grama libra di na ba 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 ba. Le bro soto kabari bo libra di sa na ba le bro di ba la ba han. Rabo di mahele bong bro di ba sa to kabro di la ba ha. Le bro di la ba han. Ora ma sheke le brandi mahande rene bombro li bale bo sokoli baha le bro chokoli bari bahaya le bro toko bali bahaya le bro di bahande kriso tala bahande man soto kobra di la baha le brada la bahi la bahande roba shako tala baba bahi rebo do bo sopro di la bahaya oh we give you praise oh god we give you praise oh god we magnify your name. Oh, we thank you, Lord God. Thank you, Lord God, for this program, oh God. Oh, Lord God, we reach, oh God, far and near, Lord God. Entry into nations yet even unreached, oh God. Globally, Lord God, you've given our man of God. Lord God, authority over nations, oh God. And Lord, we thank you because through this nation, through this ministry program, sir, the voice of our man of God will reach every home, every heart. In the mighty name of Jesus, there will be salvation and miracles wrought in every nation. And there will be a mighty, mighty move of the Spirit in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus. Oh, like the Bible says, who has said and it comes to pass uh, when my God has not declared it. Uh, only the declaration of the Lord will come to pass. Uh, this is our year of redemption. Uh, and we are seeing salvation everywhere. Uh, in every nation, in every territory. And so it is in the name of Jesus. Uh, Father God, we give you glory and we give you praise. In Jesus mighty name we pray. And everybody shout a big amen. amen. Glory to God once again. Thank you so much, our dear man of God. Thank you for giving us the opportunity to lead this segment of prayer. And we are still praying. And I would like to invite the zonal pastor of Christ Embassy, India, the highly esteemed Pastor Isaac Agarwa, to take over from here. God bless you all. Thank you. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Wow, wow, wow. Uh, thank you, Pastor Sir, for this beautiful session of prayer. And I want to welcome you from all around the world for our global communion service of month of April with our great man of God, Reverend Chris Oyakilome, DSC, DSC, DD. Thank you, Pastor Sir, for this wonderful opportunity to lead the global 
ऑडियंस ऑल अराउंड द वर्ल्ड ऑल द वे फ्रॉम इंडिया वाव एंड वी आर गोइंग टू प्रे दिस इज अ प्रेयर पॉइंट रिमेंबर दिस इज अ फास्टिंग एंड प्रेयर प्रोग्राम ग्लोबल एंड माय नेम इज पास्टर आइजिक अग्रवाल आई एम द जोनल पास्टर ऑफ क्राइस्ट एंड बेसी इंडिया सो द वी आर प्रेइंग अगेंस्ट इविल स्ट्रेटजीज सेकंड कुरिथ चैप्टर 10 वर्सेस 3 टू 4 सेज इन एएमपीसी फॉर दो वी वॉक live in the flesh we are not carrying on our warfare according to the flesh and using mere human weapons for the weapons of our warfare are not physical weapons of flesh and blood but they are mighty before god for the overthrow and destruction of strongholds we are going to pray against every strategy by those in government men and women who thrives in taking advantage of crisis to carry out evil plots against the nations of the world pray and condemn their evil works and utilize their efforts declare that people and nations of the earth are extricated from the clutches of evil treaties and are ushered into their place of peace and prosperity in the name of our lord jesus christ wherever you are lift your holy hands lift up your voice ri sa thele entra laga braganza le lindra la braganza le sha hata li baha Rindra la braganza le tanto le katila mante Rindra la braganza le shanto le katila bade Rindra la braganza le tanto le ke prakasita la baha We are praying against the evil strategies all around the world Rinde le ke pakasatila bonta le katila mama mama anta le bradila We are praying against every strategies by those in government men and women who thrives in taking advantage of crisis to carry out evil plots against the nations of the world in the name of Jesus श्री साते ले पापा का साथी रीत्रा लीत्रा लहा ताली बहा रीत्रा लाभ्रा गांजा ले तांतो लो तारी तारो लारी साथा लाभा दे तारी तारो तारी लारो साथी लाभा दे ले तारी तारो तारी लारो साथी ला माधे रे ले के पाका साथी ला रीत्रे लीत्रा लांद्रा का ब्रागांजे लीत्रा लाभ्रा गांजा ली तांतो ले के पाका से ले रंदेले बोसीला रेंदोले पाका से ले चलो रेले बाबा बाबा रेंदाली का पास से ले ले के तेरे लाली लाली तांतोलो प्रपास से ले ले बाबा बाबा रेंदोले लाली 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 तांती ला बाबा बाबा करंट इस कमिंग टू द लीडर्स बोर्डलेस इस कमिंग टू द लीडर्स टू एक्सप्लेन देम सेल्स फ्रॉम अन होली ट्रीटी
Church of Jesus Christ is advancing forward, is moving forward by the power of the Holy Spirit. No weapon version against them shall prosper in the name of Jesus. All nations are experiencing goodness of the Lord. They are experiencing the goodness of the Lord in the name of Jesus. Oh, yes, oh Lord. yes, Father. Yes, Father. Yes, we cut them off. We cut them off from the leaders of the nation in the name of Jesus, oh Lord. Yes, we decree peace. We decree prosperity for the nations of the earth. Those Bontali, those nations who were held captive by those evil treaties. Nations have the boldness and the courage to extricate themselves from such evil treaties in the name of Jesus, O oh Lord. Yes, O oh Lord. Bontali, they will not succumb to the pressure of the evil one in the name of Jesus, O oh Lord. Oh, courage of the Spirit of God is rising up in them in the name of Jesus. Jesus, O oh Lord, every evil strategy is cut off in the name of Jesus. And Father, nations are experiencing the peace and prosperity which you have planned for them in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Oh Father, we worship you, we honor you, we exalt your holy name. And in Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. We are still praying. We are still praying wherever you are. We are still praying in the name of Jesus. We are still praying in the name of Jesus. We neutralize the efforts. We neutralize the efforts. In the name of Jesus. Oh, hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Once again, I would like to say big thank you to our man of God, Reverend Chris Yakilome, DSC, DSC. Thank you very much, sir, for the opportunity to lead the global congregation in this prayer. And now we are going to go over to Cape Town, and esteemed Pastor Johan de Beer will lead us in prayer. God bless you. Undrukut ah Rabarababando Rubu Kuribarababande Rabababande Undrukuz Tarabarababande Remende Makatorobunde Reberebebe Orobo Satarabando Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening to everyone connected to the February Global Communion Service 
with Pastor Chris. My name is Pastor Johan de Beer. I'm the Zonal Pastor of Christ Embassy Cape Town Zone 2 in South Africa. I would like to thank our man of God, Pastor Chris, for this wonderful opportunity to lead the global audience in a time of prayer. Thank you so much, sir. I love you. Our first, or the prayer point we're going to take now, we're going to pray for the salvation of souls. James 1.21 says, Wherefore, lay apart all filthiness and superfluity of naughtiness, and receive with meekness the engrafted word which is able to save your souls. We're going to pray now profusely in tongues of the Spirit for the salvation of souls all over the nations. Dispel every spirit of darkness that has blinded their minds and break every power of evil holding them in bondage through your faithful declarations. Pray that the hearts of billions around the world are receptive to the gospel of Christ and that they are transferred from the power of darkness into the kingdom of our Lord Jesus Christ through our gospel. Glory to God. Will you stand with me and pray? Riba ba 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 ye, araba katara ba ra ba bandere mende, riba ba 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 bandoro bose, aye kitara ba ye, arobo ko tara makati ende, andro ko tara ba ye, braka tara mandoro bosa, aribe be be bende, araba katari be 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 ya, aromo ko taye kiri be be be, azabandere mende. Hondro ko tarabara baba, arri be 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 ndara monde, arri baba 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 ndere be be be, horro ko tarabaye, arri be 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 nde, itaraba katoro boye, arri be 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 yo, araba katarabara baba, arri makatoro bonde be be be, arri baba baba bande, the spirits are open to receive. Receive the gospel of Jesus Christ all around the globe. Tari be be bende, baka tara bara baba, arimendo bara baba katara bande, itara bara baba katoro bonde, eri baba baba bande, eri bobo bonde re be re be be, arri baba bande re be re be be, arro boko tara bara baba, arri be be ndara bande, you demonic force that is trying to blind them. We break your power now in the name of Jesus. The minds and their spirits are open to receive this glorious gospel. Torabaye, Borri Baba Baba Bande, Androco Torabara Baba, Arri Bebe Bende, Erri Bobo Bunde Rebebe, Arraca Tarabaye, Arri Bebe Bende, Erri Baba Banda, Androco Torabara Baba, Arri Bebe Bende, Eziki Torabara Baba, Arroboco Tarabara Bande, Androco Tarabie, Abi. Baba, 
ribe ki torabandeya maka toroboyi bayi babondere berebebe azibe tarabonde azoko taye bayi orima ye kataye osakarabande bratie toroboye arime ki torabarababa aroko torobonde endroko tarabarababa arribe bebende riboko zatarabarababa aroboko torobonde ribabababande endruko tarabarababa arobo sitaramande endruko tarabie arribe setaramarababande oribaka taraboye arobo sitarame arimendo roboya kateya baya rando ye baziba babande oroboko tarabarababa erribande billions around this globe is receiving salvation oribababande arabaka tarabarababa arobo sitaramande endroko tarabaye erribopoboye arabaka tarabande endroko zataribe baye kotorobondo endroko tarabande endri baye orobo kotarabanda arribebebebende orobo sitarabarababa arobo kotaramande endri baye barobobobobye andri bebebende ondro kotarabarababa arroko sitaramande endro kotarabarababa ribobobonde andi kitarabonde ondro kotaribababaye azoko toromonde brasiende andro kotayeta brosiete remende endro kutarabaye arribo bobonde andrabaye baribarababa oroboko taramande arribebebebende oroboko tarabarababa ondriki taramande andrabaye kiriberebebe oribabababande androko torobarababa ezibande kitorobonde maye kitarabaye morobonde reberebebe ribabababaye ozibababande remende ondorobarababa ribababande reberebebe oroboko tarabarababa ribinde reberebebende oribabababande arribababande reberebebe endorobarababa erroko tarabari bebebende oroboko tarabande erribobopoye baye boye kitaramaka toroponde ondroko torobarabibe arribebebende remende tiende 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 dosa oribaka taramonde reberebebe arroboko taramande arribebebebende oroboko tarabarababa arribebebende ozoko tarabie arribabababando ondriki tarabarabanda ramende ondroko tarabarababa arribebebende oroboko tarabarababa arribebebenda rabarababande rebende ondarabarababande reberebebe oribabababande oroboko tarabarababanda rabaye arribabande they coming into the kingdom by the billion zorriba 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 andi kitoye arribabababande rebeya oroko tarabarababa eromo siki tereberebebe arribabababando roko tarabaye brasatiende oribaka tarabarababa oribo bondere berebebe orabaka tarabarababande eribo kosa tarabarababa arribebendo rabarababande eribababande reberebebe oh hallelujah father we thank you 
We thank you that this month of February, we will see people coming into the kingdom all over this globe by their millions, by their billions in Jesus' name. Oh, thank you, Lord. Thank you for the opportunity that we could intercede for these souls in Jesus' name. Amen. Pastor, I love you so much. Thank you for this opportunity. Hallelujah. God bless you. Glory, 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 glory. I'd like to welcome all our participants from all around the world to the 2024 February Global Communion Service with our pastor, our father, our great man of God, Pastor Chris. My name is Pastor Biodun Lawal. I'm the Zonal Director for Accra, Ghana Zone. And I'm coming to you all the way from Accra, the beautiful country of Ghana. Firstly, I want to thank my father, my pastor, my life coach, my mentor, pastor. Thank you so much for your love. Thank you so much for your investment in my life. Thank you, pastor, sir, for the word that you gave us this year, the word, the year of redemption. Pastor, I'm eternally grateful. And also, I want to thank you, sir, for giving me the opportunity to be on the platform today to lead the global audience in another special time of prayer. Pastor, sir, I love you so much. I want to welcome all our viewers all around the world. At this time, we'll be praying for the nations of the world and their leaders. In 1 Timothy 2, chapter 2, verse 1 to 4, King James Bible, Scripture says, I exhort therefore that first of all supplications, prayers, intercessions, giving of thanks be made for all men, for kings, and for all that are in authority, that we may lead a quiet and peaceable life in all godliness and honesty. For this is good and acceptable in the sight of God our Savior, who will have all men to be saved and to come unto the knowledge of the truth. Today we will pray profusely in tongues of the Spirit for leaders of nations who will bless them and the members of their families, who will declare the acts of the leaders are turned away from wickedness, foolishness, and evil to righteousness, wisdom, and truth. Using the authority that we have in the name of Jesus, we will break the demonic forces that influence them to imagine vain things and conceive evil against the gospel and the church of Christ. Hallelujah. Wherever you are now, lift up your two hands, lift up your voice. Let's use our authority in Christ Jesus and let us pray with boldness and with authority.
Oh, Lord Jesus Christ, we thank you for the leaders of the world, the nations of the world. Lord, we lift them up before your throne room of grace this day. We infuse your new abilities into them divine enablement for the leaders of the world we pronounce blessings upon their families we pronounce blessings upon their loved ones in the name of the lord jesus christ we speak forth words of righteousness into their heart and to their spirit that there will be rain of righteousness and rain of salvation over every leader of every nation in the name of the lord jesus christ father we thank you their hearts and their minds are turned to righteousness they are turned to the word of god in the name of the lord jesus christ lord their hearts are turned away from wickedness from foolishness from evil to righteousness to wisdom and to truth in the name of the lord jesus christ father we thank you we take our authority in christ jesus and we rebook every influence of satan from their lives in the name of the lord jesus christ we rebook every demonic force of darkness that try to influence their decisions and their thoughts we command them to take up their hands from their minds in the name of the lord jesus christ we said every imagination that is contrary to God's word. We bring those thoughts and those imaginations to the obedience of Christ in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Precious Father, we thank you. Every leader in every nation, we favor the righteous gospel, righteous cause of this gospel in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. The word of God will flourish in their nations in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Precious Father, we give you praise and we thank you for this moment of prayers. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Shout a louder, amen. Amen. Oh, hallelujah. Again, I really want to thank my father and my pastor for the amazing privilege given to me today to lead the global audience in this prayer. Pastor, thank you, sir. Love you so much, sir. Very grateful, sir. And all of us from Accra, Ghana Zone. Pastor, we say we love you. And... Love you so much, sir. And we are looking forward to this communion service. And tomorrow, your love was special with you, sir. We love you passionately. And at this moment, I'd like to hand over to the main studio at Assisi Base in Nigeria. Hallelujah. Glory. Hallelujah. 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 Thank you, Lord. We honor you. There's none like you. There's none like you. How gracious you are. How gracious you are. How gracious you are. How gracious you are. Kohonde lira gabas kosha sante kila mangradigos kova sate kila kasedes. Go ahead and thank him as we sing on ending praise. Mashata Rabba Kasonde Gilo Groste. Kevro so pratico mondo goes gita rabba kasili ingedikos. Practicis. Oh, 
Thank you, Lord. There's none like you. How gracious. How gracious. How gracious. How holy. How holy you are. Righteous. Forgiven. Thank you. Merciful. Faithful. Thank you. Sonda Karadega Faust Gejes Laranega Unto Cobra Alagante Kila Aradesco Jes Lamandi Gira Hades. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Glory be to God, you may be seated. At this time, we're going to watch highlights of the healing streams as we prepare for the 2024 March edition. Watch this. You're healed. Get up. Get up from your bed. Get up. You're free. It's done unto you. Just one word from God is all it takes to birth miracles and testimonies of healing everywhere. And so it has been at the Healing Streams Live Healing Services with Pastor Chris. Take away the neck brace. You're free. The lame walk. The blind see. The deaf hear. Cancers are dematerialized, diverse terminal ailments are canceled, and even the dead are brought back to life by the power of God's Spirit. Numerous individuals across the globe eagerly look forward to the 10th Healing Streams Live Healing Services with Pastor Chris, holding from Friday the 15th to Sunday the 17th of March, 2024 an exceptional and most significant edition to celebrate our triumphant entry into the nations through healing streams soy el pastor ricardo arguen pastor de la iglesia mies internacional i'm pastor ricardo of mies international church barquisimeto venezuela i want to thank the pastor chris ojaquilome for the opportunity to be part of taking healing to the nation through the Healing Stream Live Healing Service. In the previous editions of the Healing Stream Live Healing Service, we experienced the extraordinary miracles. We opened many healing and virtual centers in our cities. And as Pastor Chris was praying for the people to be healed, we saw the power of God working in people's life who were connected in our various healing centers. I remember a woman who came with a problem in her cervical spine. When Pastor Chris was praying, she felt the power of God working in her spine and she was free of all pain. A lot of people who came to our healing centers were healed from different illness, such as arthritis, scolosis, pain in the neck, problems in the bones and from so many other illness. We are happy that in the month of March, we will be having the 10th edition of the Healing Streaming Life Service with Pastor Chris and we are so excited about this. We are organizing time for praying and evangelism. We are preparing different places in order to have many more healing centers through all our city and country. I want to invite you, if you are a doctor, professional, I really want you to invite you to be part of this and be part of the move of God's Spirit to take healing to the nation of the world. You can also participate by sowing a financial seed for this program. Pastor Chris, te amo. Pastor Chris, I love you. Venezuela love you. Mies International Church love you. During the past healing streams, we make sure that every member of our church participate in this meeting. And during this 
online healing service, the testimonies we get is marvelous. Where there was a lady, she had a huge tumor in her stomach, a big size, a, maybe a ostrich egg size. She had a tumor in her stomach. They went for an operation and everything went on, but she was not able to sit down at all. When she saw the healing service line, she started to shiver and she said, Pastor, I was not able to sit after the surgery, but after the healing stream line, I am able to sit down and get up. That was a great miracle. And we are so excited for the coming 2024 healing stream. And I encourage every man of God to open an, a virtual center where people can come and participate and start publici publicity about it and start praying about it so that many souls will be added to the kingdom of God. By divine orchestration, many around the world have transited from requiring healing in their minds and bodies to joyfully testifying about their miraculous restoration to perfect health and by extension inspiring others with their glorious testimonies. My name is Stepan Konavalov. From my childhood I had different allergies which were activated by some kinds of food and also by dust and contact with pets. I was diagnosed with asthmatic bronchitis with allergic component and I couldn't breathe. And many times I ended up in the resuscitation department because asthma sprays didn't help me. I couldn't enter a dusty room or a stuffy room or speak to a person with perfume. I just wasn't allowed to. From about 18 years old, I had convulsions. It was a serious convulsive syndrome. It could last from one minute to five and even 30 minutes, sometimes even an hour. I lived on anticonvulsants. It was really terrible because these convulsions could start in a car, a bus or a taxi. I didn't know what this disease was and it was really killing me. When my pastor told me about the healing streams, I said that I wanted to participate. I joined all three days of the program and Pastor Chris was speaking right into my spirit and he said, every form of sickness leaves your body and you are healed. I believed everything he was saying and I knew I was healed. Here is a spray. I brought it today to show you. Ever since I received my healing, I've been able to breathe normally without having to use a spray. I can eat whatever I want. I no longer experience any form of allergy. It appeared to be cool to have pets. Today, I can see that I don't have these convulsions at all. For me, this is the strongest testimony. I thank God for this amazing ministry. I want to invite everyone, especially those who are sick in their bodies. I invite you to attend the March Healing Streams Live Healing Services with Pastor Chris, which is the 10th edition of the Healing Streams. I promise you that your life will never remain the same because God's grace is at work there. It all started last year, uh, 2023. I was pregnant and then I went to the doctor for ultrasound. The doctor said, they check on me, they check my blood, they found that I have uh, blood pressure and diabetics and they gave me uh, insulin that I was injecting myself three times a day. Morning on the 16th of July, that's when I told my husband to take me to the hospital. We went to the hospital, reaching there, the doctors checked on me. They found that the heartbeat of the baby was slowing down and my heart was very high, it was beating so fast. And the doctor said, it's so risky. So they said that uh, they're deciding to get the baby out straight away in order for us to be alive. 
They actually get their baby and I was taken to the ward. The following morning in the ward, I could not lift my leg, my hands, I feel heavy all over my body. The only part I feel was my chest. Then at around 1 p.m., the doctors come in and they check on me. They say to, to me, my kidneys got injured. Now my kidneys is failed to work. And they told me, no, it's because of the medication that they inject me to see the baby, that, that, that then they will be able to get the baby out to see clear inside in my womb, to see the baby. Uh, that medication is only injured my kidneys. That's why my kidneys is not working. They fail to work now. So I didn't know what to do. It was a sad news for me. But the good news, when I hear about that healing stream, life healing service with the man of God, oh, I quickly registered. I decided to go. When the man of God came closer to us to minister, he just counted us one, one two, two, three, three four, four, five, five, six, six, seven, seven, eight, eight nine, nine, and say, now, now in the name, in the of, name Jesus, of Jesus Christ, every sickness leaves every you now. Every sickness leaves you. Every demon goes from your body now. Every demon goes away from you. And every pain ceases now. Every pain ceases now. Get up from your bed. And you are healed. Get up from your bed. And there was this two men lift me and throw me. I decided to run and thank God. I knew that my life has been changed completely. I went back to the hotel. I couldn't sleep for three days. Months, three months. Then I sleep that night. I sleep like a baby. Now I can do anything. I can cook to my for my family. My kidneys are working. No more blood pressure. No more diabetics. No more infection. My body has been restored completely. I'm sharing my testimony with everyone around me giving healing to the nation magazine to people inviting them for the healing stream life healing service i'm alive i'm alive i'm alive glory to god stir up faith in the hearts of billions around the world and pave way for the miraculous by praying for the healing of the sick and salvation of the unsaved around the world during the services Reaching, engaging, and activating coupons for the healing of many through publicity outreaches with Healing to the Nations magazine. Preparing places in homes, hospitals, stadiums, offices, and in other private and public locations for your invitees to participate in the live event. Sponsoring the Healing Stream's live healing services in all known languages and dialects of the world. For more information, kindly visit our website at www.healingstreams.tv slash LHS or call any of the numbers now displayed on your screen. God bless you. I bring you healing. It is time again to experience the realities of Christ's redemptive works this March. From Friday the 15th to Sunday the 17th of March, 2024. What is important in this moment is that God loves you and Jesus Christ wants you well. Get up from the bed. You are here. God's love and unrestrained healing power will flow throughout the globe and locate you, no matter where you are. It's the Healing Streams Live Healing Services with Pastor Chris. So get ready for another season of unforgettable healing miracles and blessings. In that very moment, when the men of God are praying for the people, a fire of God came through me and came through my, my, my leg. And at that very moment, I just stood up and started jumping and started jumping and started jumping. It makes no difference what the case is or how long it's been. It doesn't matter. Your time is now. And God is going to bless you in a special way. Get ready to receive your miracle. Register now at www.healingstreams.tv slash LHS or call us to make your booking. Live broadcast will be on www.healingstreams.tv, the Healing School mobile app, and translated in all languages of the world. The Healing Streams Live Healing Services with Pastor Chris. Your set time for your healing. Wonderful.
Did you notice something that that lady said in her testimony? She said, when I said, get up from your bed, she said, two men lifted me up. Now, but you saw the video. You didn't see the two men. Because that's the work of angels. Now, that's the testimony of many in these meetings. They either hear a voice talking to them, a hand touching them, somebody lifting them up. Oftentimes, too, especially in conditions where they're unable to work. She said, two men lifted her up. We've got lots of angels working with us. And during this coming March edition, that's going to be a marvelous experience of so many around the world. The Lord has sent us myriads of angels to work with us in healings. There's a reason we're doing this. It's not just uh, the excitement of miracles, but many really need divine healing. For so many around the world, medicine cannot help. There's so many that cannot be helped if they're left to medical services alone. And sometimes it's expensive for them. Many have spent everything. Remember in Jesus' day, the, the lady who had hemorrhage for 12 years, the Bible says she spent all her living on physicians. Never got better, only grew worse until she heard of Jesus. And then her life was changed forever. Same thing today. So let's prepare for Friday, the 15th of March, to Sunday, the 17th of March, just a few weeks away. We'll prepare with great expectations. So much will happen around the world. Hallelujah. Now, another very important thing I'm going to tell you about is the praise service. A service we're going to have, a very special praise service we're going to have on the 25th of February, Sunday, the 25th of February. Now, I did previously announce to you first, get ready for the 11th, which is coming Sunday, but we're, we're shifting that to this. 25th of February and it's going to be global because we are preparing for a global day of praise we're gonna have a global day of praise where we will praise the Lord all over the world at the same time we're gonna praise him see it's in the book it's in the Bible all nations praising God. We have to wait for the millennium? No. It didn't say at the millennium. So we're all going to praise God. In fact, at the millennium, there will be those, there will be rebels also. And there will be summarily dealt with according to the scriptures. So don't think that everyone's going to be uh, in submission they will, some will be in submission by force. And after the 1,000 years of peace, Satan is brought out of the 
a beast who has been imprisoned. And then the Bible tells us he will deceive the nations again. How in the world did he get people who listen to him? Because those ones never had their hearts on God. All the time. During the millennial reign of Christ. They didn't believe him. Didn't trust him. And so Satan comes again and deceives them. And then he amasses this army to attack the camp of the saints according to the scriptures, but they'll be destroyed at once. So think about it. This suggests to me clearly, he's talking about now. We can, we can do it. So let's praise the Lord all over the world. We can do it. We can do it. If we can organize for healings all over the world with billions of people participating at the same time, we can praise the Lord all over the world at the same time. We're going to have it in churches, in the homes, in the cells, everywhere around the world. So we will be preparing for that one. I haven't given you the date yet, but 25th, come 25th, Sunday the 25th, we will begin our way towards that one. So um, I'm calling on you to get ready. We're going to have 10,000 men choir. 10,000 men choir for the 25th February. So get ready. Get ready. You should be in church on that occasion. Be in church right after your service. Of course, depending on your time zone. So. Um, I think we'll be starting somewhere about maybe 2 p.m. 2 p.m. Sunday, uh, 25th, somewhere, 2 p.m. So we get started and you join us. It's going to be huge. So get ready for it. Glory be to God. So can I talk to you a little bit on uh, this month of February? I want to read to you a few verses. And by the way, from tomorrow, tomorrow is Monday. Monday all the way to Friday, we'll be having the, your level specials. Season 9, Phase 1, with fasting and praying. It's very important, very special for us. There are some things that we must deal with during this week while we're sharing the word. We're going to have to deal with certain things that I will talk to you about this week. So we're going to be fasting. And so... The services, the, the, the services were announced to be from 7 p.m., but we will start from 6 o'clock. So from 6, we start praying. From 6 o'clock, we start praying. Because we're going to have fasting and praying. It's very important. There's some things that you require to fast along with your praying. And this time, such is the case. So I call on you to join in the fasting, especially pastors all over the world. Pastors, let us fast and pray this week. All right, let us fast and pray this week. It's very important. Can I read some scriptures to you? Second Timothy chapter 2 from verse 4. I want to talk to you about this month of February. No man that wore it entangled himself with the affairs of this life, that he may please him who had chosen him to be a soldier. A soldier. Think about that. A soldier. An important thing about a soldier is that no soldier ever fights for himself. A soldier never works alone. A soldier always belongs to an army. There's no such individual soldier. 
Every soldier belongs to an army. And so if he's telling you that you've been chosen to be a soldier, then he's letting you know you belong in an army. In God's army. So you don't walk alone. Remember that. Remember that. Now we say work. In, in Ghana, they say work. So that's what I mean, work alone. And I think in South Africa, they also say work. Work. So that's work. All right. Then there's another... Um, the, the next verse, there's another word I want you to observe. And if a man also strive for masteries, yet is he not crowned, except he strive lawfully. This is remarkable. I want to read it again. And if a man also strive for masteries, yet is he not crowned, except he strive lawfully. The word strive. How do you see there? It's very important. It's a Greek, athleo. Athleo is where the English derives athlete. When we talk about athletes and athletics, there's where they got that from, athleo. Something about this is what I want you to observe in Philippians chapter 1. We're reading from verse 27 into 28. Only let your conversation be as it becometh the gospel of Christ, that whether I come and see you or else be absent, I may hear of your affairs, that ye stand fast in one spirit, with one mind, striving together for the faith of the gospel. Did you notice that? Striving together. The word is sinatleo. Sinatleo. That is the Greek for it. Sinatleo. It means contesting together on the same side. See, you are contending for something, but you are on the same side against the others. Like your wrestling partners. He tells us to be with one mind, striving together for the faith of the gospel. Sinat Leo, contending together for the faith of the gospel. And the same team. So, this month of February. Is the month of conglutination. Okay. A coalescence. You get it? Conglutination. It's like when, when broken bones are coming together. See? They come together and they grow together.
growing together. You coalesce, coalesce together around a vision and move together. It says, striving together for the faith of the gospel. Be of one man. Striving together for the faith of the gospel. It will bring forth a consolidation. And when we mass up together, our forces, nobody can beat us. No one can beat us. I've told you a thousand times, when we work together, there's no force in the world that can beat us. There's none. There's no power on earth that can defeat us. It's impossible. Absolutely impossible. We win all the time. We win all the time irrespective of the forces, irrespective of the adversaries. Makes no difference who they are and what they got. Doesn't matter who they defeated before, when they come to us, they fall. It says the evil shall bow before the good and the wicked at the gates of the righteous. They may have won all the time, wherever they were, but not with us. Mm -mm. Once they decide against us, that's their doom. That's their fall. You're talking about, hey, read our history. Read our history. We've come a long way. Mm -hmm. Long, long ways, my friend. Our lineage. Think about it. We've only known one thing. Victory. There have been those who thought of annihilating the church. There have been those who even made the efforts. Our Bible tells everything. This book cannot lie. We win only. It says, whatsoever is born of God overcomes the world. Whatever, anything that's born of God overcomes the world. This is the victory that triumphs over the world. Our faith. It's our faith. Not just faith by anybody. No, it's our faith. This faith in Christ Jesus. He told us to have no fears whatsoever. He says, ye are of God, little children, and have overcome them. See, it was written already. And have overcome them. He says, you have overcome them. Not a promise. Look at it. Ye are of God, little children, and have overcome them. It's not an effort. Our victory has been signed, sealed, and delivered. The scripture cannot be broken. And it says, because greater is he that is in you. 
than he that is in the world. Blessed be God. So this week we're going to be sharing quite a lot. We've got much to do along with our fasting and praying. You need to know God's plan. You need to know what's happening around the world. You need to know the direction of the Spirit. You need to know. And then also, how to take actions. It's important for us to know what our role is and what his role is. He can be trusted to play his role. But we must play our role. Let me read you another verse. Psalm 33 and verse number 5. Can we read it from the New King James Version? Because I just want you to observe something. He loves righteousness and justice. Because in the, in the King James Version, he uses the word judgment for justice. And sometimes people don't know when there's a difference when it should be judgment and when it should be justice. So in that particular place, it should read justice. He loves righteousness and justice. The earth is full of the goodness of the Lord. Now, same, same word that's translated goodness can refer to his loving kindness. But... Um, the synonym, the right synonym here in the context, the King James is accurate to use the term goodness. It's translated several times, goodness. The earth is full of the goodness of the Lord. But this is not the experience of a lot of people. They don't experience the goodness of God in many places. Think about it. There's a lot of people who are homeless. They have no finances. No money to help themselves. Some are sick. There's a lot of poverty in the world. And so when you tell them that the earth is full of God's goodness, how can they believe? They can't trust that. They think that's not true. But it's true. And I've showed you how that poverty is man-made. Poverty is not from God. Poverty has nothing to do with the country where you live. It's got nothing to do with a geographical location. It's got all to do with human decisions. Decisions made that affect you. Decisions by other people that affect you. And also your own decisions. But there are times where you're not at the point to make such decisions that will affect your life maybe as a kid. But when you grow up, you got to learn something. You got to realize that God doesn't want you to be a victim. Don't be a victim. Many are victims of the decisions of others. Refuse to be a victim. And there'll be a change. So poverty is man-made. Poverty is the works of men, not from God. And there are, there are actions you can take and extricate yourself from the dominion of bad decisions, especially by others. So it doesn't matter where you live, 
what country you're from. Just remember that Christ has made ready for us another country. In Christ, you're not only free, you have an inheritance. An inheritance incorruptible. You have it and you can enjoy it from now. And that's why we share the word of God so you can understand God's plan and walk in the light of it and how you can bring such blessings to your environment how you can bring the blessings to your family to your city to your state to your country yes you can and this week you're going to learn how praise God praise God Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Oh, how marvelous. Dear say, can we do that? Oh, how marvelous. Let's sing to the Lord right now. Oh, how marvelous. Oh,
Oh, hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Lego Bosanda Rabaka Satik Elimaha. Lee Crasson the Gobra Digas Kashila Mangila Hanga da Dira Sons de Se. Pevro dos Caparadila Gasson Shantikila Mahades. Crack to Baron the Gobra Digas Kashila Cover Sila Mahandil Head. Track the Giso Shese Kira Mahadilas. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Saja so prakabandelegiso sasaramanigila hadegis. Thank you, Lord. Pastor Karuna Babu, come up here. Come, come, come. Judah Kalinga, Pastor Benjamin Aziz, come, three of you. Give them a big hand. Come, 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 come. Good to see you again. Always a joy to have you here. Thank you, thank you, thank you. How are you doing? Oh, I heard your amazing testimony. Wonderful, wonderful. Say hello to God's people. Hello. I, how can I speak? <laughs> Thank you, sir. Thank you, Pastor, sir. Thank you for your love towards us. And we are so thankful. All the people here. Oh. In this year of redemption. I don't know. I will come so early to this place. I was there in IPPC, sir. And uh, something tremendous is happening with us in India. And as you said, you have sent us from IPPC, you said, you will never expect those things will happen to you. You never ever thought about those things. And those things are happening in the ministry in India. And we are going to see in this year, we have already seen that this is like a 10 years, one year, 10 years, one year, where we're going to see everything happening. And... All those who are listening to us, this is our time where we're gonna soak this world with the gospel. Every mountain will drown. It will not be visible. As it happened in the time of flood, the Bible says the whole world was drowned and also the mountains were drowned. Even in the healing streams coming, sir, the Spirit of the Lord told me, that there will be no such thing which will be visible. Everything will be vanished. And people shall see the power of God. And the whole nations will come to the Lord. Even those nations who never allowed the gospel to be public, they will allow. They will allow. And I thank you, sir, for this opportunity. The Spirit of the Lord ministered to me that you will call me. So glad to have you here. Thank you. Let's let's hear from you. Wonderful, Thank you. wonderful. Thank you very much, Pastor Sir. Thank you for the opportunity. It's so humbling to stand here before the global audience. And even next to you, it's so humbling, sir. Pastor, last year during the, the 31st service, you told us that. What we, have we, what we have seen in the healing streams, live healing service, the whole of that year and before, is not anything compared to what we're about to see this year. And I've been thinking, I saw mighty miracles during healing streams, live healing services during that year, 2023. And you said this year is going to be, it's going to be something else. Pastor Sir, Yesterday, after we were at the, the program that we had, I was called from Kenya. And they told me that a young lady from the university had just collapsed in that room and died. And when she died, she, she, held, she died holding a raft of realities. And then the parents came and took her to the hospital. 
And while they were elbowing her because she's dead, she coughed out the, the cotton in her nose and mouth. She coughed it out and <laughs> came back to life. Then she was explaining, Pastor Sir, that while she was in that room all in the rhapsody, she was saying, she was saying that, how can I die? And I know the words of this book. She crawled to all the book. So if they found her holding the book, they didn't know why as they were taking her to the hospital. So she was now narrating the story after, after what uh, happened, after she, was, she came back to life. Then I was wondering, this is what pastor said, that this year we are going to see that which we have never seen. Pastor sir, you've brought so much love and comfort to the world. You've brought so much comfort and peace to my nation. Thank you, sir, for being such a blessing to my life, to, our, to nations of the world, and the change you've brought to nations far and near. Only God can reward you. Only God knows how much impact, sir, you've had in, the, in people's lives. Some of us get testimonies upon testimonies about the healing streams in our nation that we've, we've not even been able to communicate to the office because they are amazing amazing people representing their sick ones and they get healed miracles happening pastor thank you so much i love you dearly and i, I pray you. that god will continue to use you to change amen. this world amen, amen. Thank, thank, you. thank you oh thank thanks you, for sir. sharing that with us thank you thank so you. much pastor benjamin thank you pastor for the giving me this opportunity to be with you i love you sir i love you 2016 you imparted me you called my name in ISM conference 2020 me and my wife together we wanted to come for the healing school our passport was in Delhi for in embassy but there was a lockdown there was a COVID it was suspended and 2020 May my wife was dead for seven and a half minutes and your word raised her from the dead We'll never forget, Pastor, Pastor Sir, what you have done in our life in 2023. I was about to die on 25th August 2023. There was a dead spirit right side. At 4 o'clock, you came next to me and you said, you are healed now. You no need, you're free. You, first you said you're free. You're ill now. You no need oxygen. From that moment, I'm alive. I'm active. I'm progress. I am, my church is growing. Only, I don't know any other man of God in this world. I know only one man of God. That is our father, Pastor Chris Oyakilome. We love you so much, Pastor. From that day moment, from 376 pound, I reduced 100 pound. What shirt I'm wearing, what pant I'm wearing, it is the old pant. And my wife said, you're going to meet pastor. I prayed I need to meet pastor. Pastor is going to call my name. As a pastor, Karuna said, he's going to call my name. I know, I know what I said, it is going to happen. My wife said, you need to buy a new pant, new coat, new shirt. I said, another 100 pound I'm going to re reduce. And I'm going to meet him very soon. <laughs> From that pastor, what you have shared, we are sharing to the world. We are sharing to the India. Among Muslims, we are working among Muslims. We are working among Hindus. The gospel is spreading rapidly. Hallelujah. From three years back, the August 2023, what the money I, I would spend only on the medicine, thousands, thousand dollars per month I need only for the medicine. My church was stagnant. I could not build, the, I purchased the land, I could not pay the money. Now I know in 2024, this is a year of redemption. Hallelujah. I'm going to build the church. Hallelujah. The church is going to be rapidly, it is going to grow. Hallelujah. And we're going to reach yes, the, under you, what, uh, what so mandate you have been given to reach the un unreached soul. We are reaching that pastor Hallelujah. through this healing stream, through this healing live service, through the Rhapsody. Whatever the material you have been given, it is, we are using every material in our ministry. And it is useful, it is active. Once again, I, I say in this world, I don't know any man of God 
I don't follow any pa- any pastor. I only follow my man of God, my life coach, my father, my everything, Pastor Chris Oyakilome. I love you, sir. I Actually, my you. wife was speaking today. Actually, she said, she said, Professor, you're going to meet Pastor Chris. Take a picture with him. <laughs> and she said, in 2017, we were newly married in the month of Jan 25th. We came to the ISM conference. That day she said, uh, we, uh, I said, we were standing in the line, cell leader's line. I said, uh, I don't have an offering or anything to give. Can you give uh, your uh, wedding ring? I'm going to give my wedding ring. That is the moment you remember. I think so. We yeah, came forward. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That we was gave, you. We gave our wedding ring. Yeah. And we are not regretting, Pastor. We Praise love it. God. We are sowed in the kingdom of God. From the day, yes, that yes, yes. we never have a fight. we have a wonderful uh, marriage life and we love each other and we have given and we have invested in the right place praise god so that was you in india pastor in india people will never give the wedding ring mm-hmm. my wife was ready because and she said you are going to meet pastor chris tell to the media people the photo what we clicked with pastor can you give that photo back <laughs> and i said to her we are going to go again together we are going to take a photo with <laughs> with her uh, oh, thank, thank you. you pastor my life august 20 23 the 25th i have dedicated my life completely only for the gospel to reach Jesus. the unreached people the muslims i come from muslim background my wife come from hindu background my wife brought the whole family to the christ i brought my father to christ i know what mandate you have been given the 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 material that is enough for us thank you lord jesus to reach the world hallelujah i love you father i love you thank so you. much thank i love you. you i love you. you i love you i love you thank you so much thank you give them a big hand thank you you can go back to your seats thank you god bless you god bless you thank you wonderful What about the doctor lady uh she's gone back the translator Yes I thought I thought she was the one I was seeing She was at the IPPC come come How are you doing? Good to have you here. Thank you so much. Wonderful. I heard you uh was it yesterday when you were on the program talking about the translations and what it takes to get so many organized for it and then you said we're going to get uh you're going to build uh, a facility for it. They want to build a facility for translations. in india how much will that be uh, at present this is uh, 300 uh, translators i have you have 300 translators yeah that's amazing and uh, 500 translators i want for the kingdom more than that it it is not only in one country uh, it is in the, uh, they are in nepal sri lanka myanmar but nagpur is the city which is center of india where all flights goes where all uh, trains goes so i live in the center of india so it's god's will that the translation center must be built up in nagpur city yeah. for the glory of god hallelujah and you said somebody gave you a land yes the pastor who came with me uh, he's from dhule maharashtra so in the ippc time that he said me that sister i want to give one acre land for That's the wonderful. translation center healing center and you please talk to about it to pastor diola philip ma'am so that uh, we can go ahead so i just want to talk about that and that's amazing yeah. that's amazing is that where you want to build the center Yes uh, that is I'm, I live in Nagpur but uh, that center it, uh, uh, it is near to Mumbai uh, they were they, he he has given that land in near to uh, Mumbai that is Dhule but I live in Nagpur 
so uh, the uh, but glory to god that he has donated that land for the christ embassy for the healing center and the translation center there we want to build up the uh, rooms the dormitory and big hall for the translator so that we all come together and we can translate together because it is very necessary to translate together because there are so many technical mm-hmm. problems comes when we are translating i always speak to the people that when I'm, uh, not only uh, i am a coordinator but i am translating in hindi also that time i have to coordinate in nepal sri lanka myanmar and i have to report to the technical team over here in lagos so at same time i'm translating same time i'm typing message i don't know how this doctor does it when she starts talking it's like this or <laughs> you know <laughs> no it's nice no 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 it's okay it's okay i was just fascinated <laughs> I'm so much excited that I don't know God how first time it's my privilege that I'm talking in front of so much highly anointed and biggest man of God oh Lord thank you thank you very much thank you all right so you're going to give us the details later yes, all right yes yes I, I don't want to put you on the spot so we'll get all the details from and would like to support what you're doing thank you, you so that. much thank you thank, thank you so you. much thank you glory Thank you. God bless you. Thank you. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. 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 Let's do I am one with you. Can we sing that to the Lord in praise? Ko shataraba rabakante kelegreskes. Sando rabada gada. The Lion of the tribe of Judah, the risen King alive in me. The first begotten of the dead, who made me in your image. Your glory is revealed in me, I am the Father's bride. The light of the world, you have made me. Lion of the tribe of the tribe The risen king of life The first begotten of the dead The glory is revealed I am the father's bride Light of the world I am one with you, I love to you, oh Lord, my God, you made me your glory, how great is your wondrous love, it's unconditional. Please. 
At this time, you just have your seat and we'll have the bread and the a cup distributed. I'm going to read some scriptures to you. Oh 
from first first corinthians chapter 11 from verse 23 the scripture says i have received of the lord that which also i delivered unto you that the lord jesus the same night in which he was betrayed took bread and when he had given thanks, he broke it and said, Take, eat, this is my body, which is broken for you. This do in remembrance of me. When the bread comes to you, you take it and hold it until I give the signal for us to break it. Just sing that chorus again. Father, in the name of the Lord Jesus, thank you for the body of the Lord Jesus that was broken for us. And now we break this bread in remembrance. Go ahead and break it and eat it. Now, some of you may be asked in your congregation to go to a stand where the, where the cup is given you. And some of you may have received both the bread and the cup packaged together. But just follow the instruction of the minister in charge or the ushers. Father, in the name of the Lord Jesus, we thank you for the blood of the Lord Jesus that was shed for us, for the remission of sins, and that we may live. Thank you. But we are cleansed 
by the blood of Christ pure in your presence thank you for your children all over the world thank you they are absorbed of their guilt for Christ was crucified for sins thank you Lord you said he is the propitiation for our sins and not for us only but also for the sins of the whole world thank you Lord thank you for the oneness that we have in him and now we drink this cup in remembrance and as we drink it I proclaim health for every one of your children today health perfection in their health no sickness or disease or infirmity can stay in their bodies no devil of infirmity is allowed to remain in their bodies thank you thank you thank you we drink this cup in remembrance go ahead and drink it Jesus, Sombra, Te, Clora, Digos, Kosha, Manta, Kala, Ragasse, Tequila, Mangro, Sefretila, Gastis. Thank Him. Thank Him for the communion of the body of Christ. Thank Him for the communion of the blood of Christ. Thank Him. Prakto, Koso, Vromina, Lagis, Doshin, said. You know, as you thank him, this is the real Eucharist. It is the proclamation of your praise in thanking him. When you break the bread and drink the cup and you thank him for it. Eucharistia. That's what it is. That's the Eucharist. Go ahead and thank him right now. Thank you. 
Tos karamante kikos kojes. Thank him. It's a communion of the body of Christ. Go ahead and praise him. Communion. His blood. Sela koza prakanta kilides. Sanjo zalamangila rakase te kosha pati. Manta Karaba Cassette Kila Caparades Coche Cecida Ente Com Blaning Roscoja Zanti Kila Saco Bracali Cobes and the Gina Maninta Cas. Take it up and Hallelujah. Glory be to God. At this time, you give an offering to the Lord. It's time to give your offering. If you're giving your tithes, do so. You're giving a special seed, do so. In the church where you are, you have instructions on how to, to give. But if you're participating online we have details on the screen for you so use the details we provide you now i understand that This particular February communion service was sponsored by Christ and Messiah Kragana Zone. So I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go to them right um, after the offerings. So I want to hear from Pastor Bjorn Lawal in a second. But go ahead and give your offerings now. And I'm going to pray over your offerings and tithes and seeds over the last month, including first fruits, offerings. I'm going to pray for you. So while you're giving your offering, just takes a few minutes. Yeah, go ahead.
Thank you very much. Now, if you're not done and you're still giving, continue until you're done. But I pray in the name of the Lord Jesus for these offerings and seeds and tithes. And over your giving in the last month. And I pray also over your first fruit offerings. And the Lord will bless you immensely on your giving. Multiply your seed sown and increase the fruits of your righteousness. In the name of the Lord Jesus. And grant you your heart's desires. And complete that work of your faith with power. And we invoke the offerings and tithes and seeds and of the first fruits with the power of God, cause them to multiply for the furtherance of the gospel. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Praise God. Praise God. Thank you, Lord. All right. Can we go to Ghana now? There they are. Wonderful, Pastor Biodi Lawal and the whole church. Congratulations. Thank you. Yeah, thank you for sponsoring this particular service. And I pray the Lord will bless every one of you immensely. In a very special way. And this year is a very beautiful year for you. And you will go beyond your dreams. By the power of the Holy Ghost. In the name of the Lord Jesus. And I am praying at this very moment. Because I see myself among the, the children. The children. The children section. Where the children are. Le fradicos com nenina alagas que fro por adigons que juns na arides. The Lord is blessing the children in a special way. And that evil that was supposed to happen to many children will not happen to these ones. Mans ki cross que vramande glira deos. They are protected from every evil work in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Masha kora tia kala mandeges. Vrek tila mongros gifra pareges. I pray for your families in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. God's grace, God's grace is multiplied upon every family, every family in this place. In the name of Jesus Christ. I speak blessings upon you. And I thank God for your faith. I thank God for your faith. You will do marvelous things. You will do great things. The Lord bless you more and more. In Jesus name. Amen. Pastor Bjorn, you were about saying something. Can I hear you now? Wonderful. Celebrate that. Yeah. Receive that. Yeah. Receive that. Yeah. Receive that blessing. Receive it. Receive it. Glory be to God. Thank you. So, sir, we love you so much, sir. I love you. All of us, all your children, all across the nation of Ghana, America, and all the regions. Pastor, we love you so much. And this year, we will do the impossible. We will do the incredible. Yes. We will be there every way, in everything you want us to do. We will do it over and above. I will break all records this year. Because this year. It's Thank you, sir, for praying for us. What do you say to our pastor? Father, we love you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Glory be to God. Thank you. God bless you. Wonderful indeed. Wonderful. Oh, just speak in other tongues. Pray in the Holy Ghost, everybody. Speak in other tongues.
message of the week is the legal and vital aspects of Christ. So make sure to get your copy. It's available in the PCDL app or even the web version. PCDL, Pastor Chris Digital Library. The message is titled, The Legal and Vital Aspects of Christ. In closing today, we'll do the song, Precious Word of Truth. So don't forget, tomorrow we start your love specials and we're fasting and praying. We'll begin from 6 o'clock praying.
God bless you. You're watching Love World USA, celebrating the person, presence, anointing, and power of the Holy Spirit. kingdom of darkness we belong in the kingdom of God's dear son in whom we have redemption and this is the record that God has given us eternal life and we're living this life in the now of our lives this year 2024 get ready for an extraordinary avalanche of divine revelation of the word at your level special season 9 phase 1 with pastor Chris don't miss your love world specials and this year particularly, we're going to be releasing and disseminating divine secrets. This is one divine appointment you can't afford to miss. Showing live on all Love World Networks, Alpha TV, Live TV Mobile App, Cflix App, and various social media platforms. Rhapsody of Realities is a wonder, which heralds a reverberation.